night that Jesus is arrested. The other disciple went into the palace of the high priest with Jesus, but Peter stood at the door waiting to be let in. Come on, what's taking you so long? Hurry up! He's with me. Hey, aren't you also one of Jesus' disciples? No, never heard of him. <laughs> Peter joined some servants standing around a fire warming themselves. He's one of them, said a maid passing by. No, I'm not, said Peter. I say, didn't I see you in the garden with Jesus earlier? Oh, no, it wasn't me. I've never heard of Jesus. <laughs> Meanwhile, the high priest was having troubles finding crimes to accuse Jesus of. Lots of people told lies about him, but their lies didn't agree. Eventually, the high priest just asked Jesus, Are you the Christ? And Jesus answered, I am. One day you will see me sitting on the right hand of power coming in the clouds of heaven. The high priest tore his clothes and said, Well, you all heard him. What do you think? Blasphemy, they all cried. Crucify him! And they began to spit on Jesus and hit him. In the morning, Jesus' situation went from bad to worse. He was carried away to the governor. He was scourged, dressed in purple. They put a reed in his hand and made him wear a crown of thorns. They mocked him. Hail the king of the Jews! Then they took the stick they had given him and they hit him on the head with it. Finally, they led him away to be crucified. Simon a Cyrenian carried Jesus' cross for him. Jesus was crucified with two other criminals. They put a sign above his head declaring for all to see the crime that he was guilty of. Do you know what it said? What terrible thing Jesus had done? It said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. It wasn't terrible, but it was true. Jesus was and always will be the King of the Jews. People who passed by shook their heads and mocked him. If you're the Son of God, come down, they said. He saved others, let him save himself. He trusted in God, let God deliver him, for he said, I am the Son of God. Even the thieves who were being crucified beside him had something to say. If you're the Christ, save yourself and us, one said. But the other rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he asked. We are getting what we deserve, but he has done nothing wrong. And then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Today you shall be with me in paradise. Great darkness covered the whole land, and Jesus cried with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I deliver my spirit. And Jesus died. The veil in the temple was torn from the top to the bottom. The earth shook, and the centurion and all who were near Jesus were greatly afraid, saying, Surely this was the Son of God. Some of Jesus' disciples came and got Jesus' body. They placed it in a nearby tomb and closed the door with a stone. Some soldiers stood watch. Very early Sunday morning, some women came to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away, and Jesus' body was gone. Two angels appeared, and the women bowed to the ground in fear. The angels said, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. And the women rushed to tell the other disciples.